there's light on the floor. It's got to get cleaned up. That too. Thank you. I have a confession to make. I have been eating sugar again. <sighs> I've also gained about 10 pounds and it just makes me feel icky. Icky because I feel guilty that I gave in to sugar I don't know what to do. Can I really just stop eating sugar? I don't think I can. Can I? It's scary to say, but it makes me happy when I eat it. it makes me feel better. And right now that I'm feeling very anxious, I've been eating a lot of junk, which is so interesting because usually when I'm anxious, I can't eat or I forget to eat. Some people might know what I'm talking about, but I just get these knots in my stomach when I'm really anxious and then I don't have an appetite at all. I basically don't know where to go from here. And I think the thing that makes me feel the worst is feeling like a failure. Like I failed. Even with Chris, I feel like I failed Chris because we were in this together. And I know it's bad. And I don't want Jedi to have it. And I definitely don't want to give it to her because she needs nutrients right now. Her belly needs to be filled up with vegetables, protein, nutrients, right? And part of me justified it because I said, well, I'm an adult, you know? I don't need nourishment to grow anymore because I am fully grown so everyone has a vice and sugar is mine it's just so good it's so good if I could eat ice cream every day I would So I guess I'm asking for your help. Has anyone done this besides Chris? Everybody knows Chris is not human. So <laughs> I wanna know if anyone else has done this. I'll get plain Greek yogurt and I'll think, if I just added a little bit of honey or a little bit of maple syrup, it would be so good. Right now I'm thinking of ice cream. <laughs> And the more I deprive myself, the more I want it. I feel better that I confessed. <laughs> because you can tell, I think, you can tell on my face that I gained about 10 pounds. Because I lost about 10 pounds when I quit sugar. And I felt great. And while I was in Texas, my parents, you know, got me a bunch of fruit. My mom's never loved sweets. My dad, he makes sweets. He bakes pies and cakes but he doesn't really eat them it's hard <laughs> but i don't want jenna to have it i don't want any junk in the house either like chips potato chips it's gonna be hard because i eat all that stuff i guess i gotta keep in mind that jedi will be watching this i'm sorry baby it's hard but I want to do this for you. I don't want you... I don't want you to be addicted to sugar. I don't think I'm addicted because I'm fine. I can go to sleep tonight without having ice cream, but I really want it. A lot of people say it's a lifestyle change. 
tired right now because I'm more anxious than I've ever been. Maybe I should start running again. I remember I used to run to relieve anxiety. And I didn't know at the time what it was. I just remember feeling all this energy that was building up. And I was young. I was about 16. And I remember just running, just going and going for miles and miles. And then at the end, I would just break down crying. But it felt so good. And that's around the time my anxiety started. My dreams have always been so vivid to where they affect me the next day. Sometimes I actually wonder if it really happened in some crazy universe. <laughs> Anyways, back to me eating sugar. What am I gonna do to stop eating it? It's that simple. As much as I'd like to start out large, I may have to begin in a smaller space with my idea behind Galaxar. I've put a name to it. That's an amalgamation of the words galaxy and bazaar. G-A-L-A-X-A-A-R. Galaxar. I think I spelled that correctly. For geeky antiques and modern collectibles. But it may have to begin small. Like, ten tables. Small. But it would act as a proof of commerce. I mean, a proof of concept. Commerce is certainly a part of it. If it works for 10 tables, I could scale it up to 20 tables. Then scale it up to 50 tables. I'm just itching to do it. The toy fair we went to wasn't that large, but it was fun. In the entire thrift store, my baby girl hones in on the comics that are on sale. High five. That close enough. Thank goodness for gift cards. I think you're a real mom. I think you are closer to what moms are than a lot of the moms that I've seen. Not all. I know many are very genuine, but you are one of the genuine ones, if only because of how you've made yourself vulnerable. And even though you're not necessarily someone who's comfortable in front of the camera, the camera doesn't lie. You can tell when someone's being fake. Jedi loves feeding the dogs more than she likes feeding herself. Watch out, Wicket. They may have had enough, sweetie. Baby, they've eaten their own weight in dog food today. Yeah. Now it's time for them to eat more food. Your food. As you drop it to the floor. Unless you don't. Good grapes? Diana says Jedi loves grapes, which stands to raisin.
Diana didn't laugh because she was admiring a bargain, and trust me, it was a bargain. She found something for her hair that did not happen to be something that she had already. Diana found this blue clampy thing for... Two dollars. What is it? It's a hair straightener. But your hair's straight. It's a little bit wavy. Can you tell? Yeah, especially when you're waving your hand in it. It's wavy. <laughs> Literally, I can actually use the word literally. It's literally wavy. Many people probably don't know that's a pet peeve of yours when people say literally. Instead of figuratively. Yes. Like, I'm literally dying. <laughs> well, technically speaking, you are. We all are, really. It's just that we're in this constant oh, so state sad. of devolution into what? A girl's hair, then, is like a potato chip. Sometimes you want it wavy, and other times you want it not wavy. Sometimes you put stuff on it because you read about something on the internet. Like egg yolk or mayonnaise. I've never made ribs before. We're just kind of winging it. Is that okay with you? That's fine by me. It's just that these aren't wings. You want my cheese instead? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to saute them first, and then put them in the crock pot for four hours and then move them to the oven for however long it tells me to. I just appreciate that you're not slathering it with sugary sauce. Thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day. Your support is always appreciated, and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you, we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com. You'll get even more of what you love from us. Advanced screenings, behind the scenes, and most importantly, you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you. See you tomorrow!